Hey you and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at the messages of your special someone and see whether he or she is indeed your destiny. As always guys, these messages are general, so please be mindful of that throughout this spread. If you are interested in more of a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out with me, uh, to reach out to me. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising, and for those of you that um, may have dropped into Crosswatch, let's take a look and see whether this person here is indeed um, a part of your destiny. Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Wow. Okay, so I can see that fate and destiny definitely have plans for the two of you, Leo. You do have a lot of fire energy, and it's quite um, it's quite an impulsive and quite a um, passionate kind of energy. Um, and then you do have um, a fair bit of water energy as well here. Okay, so with the Five of Wands, um, I'm picking up some sort of um, conflict here. Okay, there's some sort of strain, conflict, or tension that um, resides within the connection here. It's conflict. Maybe it's just conflicting expressions amongst the two of you. Maybe it's like dis disagreements. Um, maybe you guys argue a lot. Maybe it's just disagreements in uh, in beliefs here. The Five of Wands is, a, it's like your emotions being dysregulated. It's not all that bad. I just feel like maybe you guys aren't, don't always see eye to eye a lot, or you're not always on the same page, or you have different cultural or traditional beliefs is what I'm seeing. And maybe that is causing, um, you know, putting strain on the relationship. But I feel like everything is um, fixable. Everything is work. Everything can be worked out, right? Sure. Um... So yeah, maybe arguments, maybe clashing of personalities or difficulty in just moving forward. Um, but I feel like it's put some strain on the connection here because this, this clashing, conflicting energies is what I'm seeing. You need to stand up though. I feel like, and you do, Leo, you do, because I feel like you stand up for what you believe in, you stand up for what's true to you, and they do the same. And this is where I feel like you guys sort of butt heads, right? Um, you do have the Queen of Wands, and I feel like there's a lot of passion here that exists within the relationship and within the connection. I feel like there's a lot of attraction here. Um, an intense kind of connection is what I'm seeing. Um, maybe the person that you're dealing with has got a bit of a fiery focus. Or maybe they've got a bit of a temperament, or maybe you do have, but or maybe you have. But I'm, I'm seeing that you know the Queen of Wands is optimistic. She's confident. She's self-assured. She's charismatic. She's quite determined as well. So maybe your person can be a little bit stubborn here as well. Um, she she does have an uplifting energy. So I feel like you got you're you're very you know you're very confident. With one another, you're very confident with what the two of you have. I mean, yeah. Okay, fair, for, all right, guys. You, you, you may disagree. It's not the end of the world. You may have conflicting energies, so or you may disagree. There's natural ebb and flow to all connections. So you know what? It's really not that bad. Um, you've got someone who is going to stand up and fight for you. You've got someone who is, from what I see, who is by your side. With the Hierophant, I feel like maybe this is some quite traditional aspects about this connection or maybe you're involved with someone who's very traditional or maybe you're the traditional partner here but the the hierophant is a man of commitment he is a man um, of tradition as well um, and this i feel like this is for some of you i am seeing that this is possibly someone whom you're going to maybe you had plans to settle down and get married engaged or i feel like eventually i'm seeing that there is um, an engagement or a wedding that will cement this connection. So I do feel like this person is destined. I do feel like this person is your destiny and I feel like you were destined to cross paths together. And if you guys aren't necessarily talking now, I feel like your paths will be destined to reconnect. Because I, for some of you, the destiny 
like the, the, the realization of your connection or the destiny hasn't yet been fulfilled of this connection and I, that's why I feel like your paths will cross. A very strong emotional bond is being developed and is being created um, so much so that it feels a little bit overwhelming and I do feel like the emotion sometimes can become a little bit dysregulated. Um, so, and for some, I'm also seeing that the Ace of Cups is also renewal. So, look, you guys may not necessarily be, you know, on the best of terms right now, but I feel like it. Th there will be a sense of, you know, forgiveness or a sense of renewal here, especially if the two of you, you know, are wanting to, um, you, you're wanting to um, continue to pursue this um, connection. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups typically represents, you know, intimacy and a deeper feeling, and sometimes I feel like that deeper bond or that, you know, that deeper intimacy is being carved and is being created out of hard times and out of hardships here. It also it also could possibly mark the um, mark a new relationship or like a deepening of an existing connection with the Ace of Cups. Um, it also suggests like an awakening. So I feel like for, for some of you, this person has come along and has awakened you from a slumber. Uh, maybe you, you felt like you weren't going to love again or you were never going to find love or you're never going to fall in love. Um, with the way that you know you have with this individual so some sort of emotional awakening here um, you know this person is offering you the cup of chalice and I feel like you know you're, you're wanting to drink from from this cup you're wanting to drink from this cup and with the two of cups here I feel like you guys are meant for one another okay I feel like you guys are very similar on some levels but very different and that's where you clash but I also feel like that's where you challenge one another you challenge one another to learn to do better to improve um, the two of cups is you know it's two hearts two minds coming together and for a lot of you this is um, I feel like you're creating or you have created a very strong emotional connection here I feel like this connection here has the ability to make you feel emotionally fulfilled and emotionally connected and you know um, that emotional happiness here so I feel like the release of this card um, you know regardless of whether or not you guys are on good terms or bad terms I feel like um, both of these cards tells me that for some you know you'll be turning a, a new leaf is what I'm seeing and I feel like the connection here will be deepening you're being offered the cup here you're being offered cups here so it's up to you whether you're going to take this cup here and drink it to its fullest you know it's up to you whether and up, up to your person whether they're going to do the same here so look here maybe uh you may be dealing with the water energy pisces cancer scorpio here right um you guys are in alignment with one another. You're in alignment. You're in flow with one another. You're creating a deep connection. And even, yeah, even whatever this is, like whatever obstacles that stand in the way, whatever um, setbacks or challenges, I feel like it's only strengthening. It has the ability to strengthen your connection here. You've also got the support of the divine behind you. And for some of you, if this is the early stages of a connection, if you just recently met this person, find comfort in the thought that I feel like what you're creating here is something deeply fulfilling and something that is going to be truly and remarkably rewarding in the long term. Because I'm seeing, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that um, you know, you're coming together. You, you possibly might be getting engaged with this individual, getting married, settling down and having children, or coming, you know, you're going to move in with one another. I'm just seeing you cementing this connection here. So I'm seeing a new partnership here. A new partnership, um, one that is mutually uh, beneficial. Yeah, the Two of Cups here refers, uh, the Two of Cups in combination with the Four of Wands does to me refer to a marriage proposal or like an engagement is what I'm seeing. You're creating this beautiful synergy here. Okay, I, I feel like it, you work one, you sometimes, you know, energies work against one another and oppose one another. But all in all, I feel like when you do work together, you create this beautiful um, synergy here. You really do. A partnership that I feel like has a very strong foundation and this this connection here has a lot of potential so as long as you so as long as you communicate to one another okay because as long as you communicate to one another I feel like there is bound to be a uh, success in this uh, relationship and just focus on your shared alignment here so is this person um, are they your destiny um, indeed they are Leo because I feel like you're destined you know you were destined to cross paths with this person you were destined to meet this person 
you're destined to manifest them and I feel like you're destined to end up with this person. For a lot of you, I feel like you're destined to marry, get engaged and um, live happily ever after. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings later in the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Bye for now.